So just, just go through the kind of sensors that you've got on there now, yeah. the three so, types. So each sensor node has one inertial sensor, our BHA, uh, BHI 380, uh, uh, barometric pressure sensor, BMP5, yep. and uh, our magnetometer, BMM 350. Yep. Um, so these are the three sensors that allow yep. to have a full body motion tracking. Right. So Hello IPX, again, yet again we are here at CES introducing you to Sebastian from Bosch Sensor Tech. So we've talked about Bosch quite a lot on IP Exchange and we've found in our community their sensors are really, really popular and they're doing some really, really innovative stuff. But what Sebastian would like to talk to you about today is how you take those sensors and then you connect them up and then you analyze all the data that you've got and he's got a whole value added platform that he's going to talk about as to how you do that. So Sebastian, talk about what you've done. Thank you, Guy, and welcome to Bosch Sensor Tech at CES. What we present here is a novel technology platform combining in uh, so-called sensor nodes, yep. um, inertial sensors, barometric pressure sensors, and magnetometer that enable to have a full body motion tracking. Right. Um, that is a benefit for different use cases like fitness, like rehabilitation, but also AR, VR, and gaming. Yeah. And allows to put up to eight sensor nodes at different places at the body, and then to have a full picture, basically, if you move the sensors here, that you have a full replication, let's say, of um, your motion of the body yep. on an avatar. Yep. So yeah. let's just get that. Let's just get that board back. So just just go through the kind of sensors that you've got on there now. Yeah. The three so, types. So each sensor node has one inertial sensor, our BHA uh, BHI 380, uh, uh, barometric pressure sensor BMP5, yep. and uh, our magnetometer BMM 350. Yep. Um, so these are the three sensors that allow yep. to have a full body motion training. Right. So obviously all of those you sell individually and you can go and do whatever you like with them yeah. and put them into places that, that you want to sense. So yeah. what you've done is you've put them all three of them together and you've yeah. created a platform where they can individually talk to each other. Exactly. And we also okay. deliver an SDK and a software uh, tool chain right. that allows to use uh, AI capability to okay. train the sensors and then to, uh, depending on the use case, to upload then the software directly to the sensors um, and uh, cover then the different uh, uh, use case that the potential partners want to, uh, to enable. Okay, so how much, so, so you could say you've got an SDK, so that comes as a form of software. Yeah. So, so what kind of, uh, our platform is all about looking at disruptive technology, looking at new ways of doing things. Yeah. So if you get that S SDK, you get, I take it you get something like that and then you can play with it and then what, what do you create from there? So basically what we, 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 we are an enabler thing, uh, with here yeah. with a sensor, uh, uh, smart connected sensor platform. It's uh, eight uh, sensor nodes we are, which we are able to connect wirelessly and then uh, basically uh, with the software tool chain, um, any partner is able to try to replicate the use case he wants to address. Like for example, fitness, activity tracking, or uh, if, if for rehabilitation, if someone is, uh, has an injured and uh, gets operated by the, 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 right. the doctor, he can then exactly do the movements that the CRP is right. uh, defining, basically. So, so when they take in your sensors and they're getting their data back, Yep. Have you given them some kind of dashboard that enables them to look at the data that's coming in? That's part of the software, let's say, tool chain yep. we're offering. Yeah. Okay. Um, so Are we able to see that in this demo? Uh, not here. Yeah. Here, with what we show is the capability of the sensors. I see. Say. Yeah. Yeah. Um, and uh, uh, how we can replicate and basically the sensor data yep. directly to the AV. Right. So you're in, in this is just showing a typical movement sensor, and what you're saying is you can then take all of that and you've created where you can connect them all up using AI, give them a dashboard, able to analyze all that data, yeah. and you do that as a value add to using all your sensors. Exactly, and that's to show the performance and the combination of the sensors with the virus connectivity um, uh, in order to enable different various use cases. Uh, it's, and it's unlimited, basically. And, right, it's different. Right. and is there any other sensor supplier that offers anything like that today? 
Not to our knowledge. Yeah, uh, I think this uh, uh, more and more common, uh, let's say, use case which we are uh, needed to address, and potentially they already use also Bosch sensors. Yeah, but this uh, to our knowledge is the first, let's say, technology platform that uh, this kind of uh, we as a sensor vendor are offering to the market. Right. So just 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 remind our our, our listeners and our readers what is the typical applications for these you talked about you, you talk about gaming you talk about medical what else yeah so um it's mainly four fields yeah the one is uh, fitness so for activity tracking gesture recognition um that's one area second is rehabilitation so and uh, uh if someone gets injured and uh after uh, an operation needs uh, to rehabilitate uh, its body's uh, legs or arms um, third is also AR, VR, so if you want to uh, translate uh, physical movements into the metaverse, for example. Yeah. Uh, but also gaming, that's uh, also uh, for gaming application, you can also use this uh, platform with our sensor nodes in right. order to realize different use cases. So, difficult question, which is one that you probably won't want to answer. Mm -hmm. In this, sort of, in this sort of example here, yeah. there will be lots of your competitors that will offer individual parts of this sensor system. Mm -hmm. What happens if they use different sensor suppliers as well as yours? Will your dashboard still work? That will, that's only compatible with our sensors <laughs> <laughs> because right. this is what we know best. No, that's fine, uh, I understand. And yep. we also, what you need to understand is that we have uh, uh, processors also directly on our sensors which are able to process the data on the sensor. Yeah? Yes. And that, yes. of course, then requires to get uh, the access to our, our sensor data and to combine them best in order to reduce also power consumption for the full uh, application. That's yeah. why this solution is only available with our sensors, yes. like a mental inertial sensors, yeah. uh, pre barometric pressure sensor and magnetometer. Yeah. I'm not suggesting that's a bad thing. I'm just I'm just trying to establish with our with our, clarity with, with our community sure. that it only works with your sensors. Exactly. Okay. Well, that's very good. Thank you very much for that uh, for that introduction. Very innovative and you. Thank you. Thank you, Guy. Hey, where my engineers at?